admissions of guilt. Six year old James Hutchinson's mom and her boyfriend both changed pleas and his death and disappearance. That's right. The boyfriend James Hamilton was in Butler County Court just a couple of hours ago, and so was our Evan Millward, who joins us live right now in Hamilton. Evan Hamilton's family was also there. Yeah, Craig, Tanya, I sat next to James Hamilton's sister, his wife, his stepdaughter in court. They say they won't excuse what he did, but they say he's not a monster. You'll hear the prosecutor begs to differ. The next time Sarah Woods sees her stepdad, he'll be learning how long he'll be spending in prison. As to that charge, what is your plea? Guilty. James Hamilton said that four times for four felonies, kidnapping, child endangerment, and gross abuse of a corpse. Those pleas erased any question and should erase any question in the minds of anybody in the public of the guilt, the absolute guilt of these defendants. I don't believe it was all on him. Prosecutors say in February he helped his then girlfriend Brittany Gosney get rid of her six year old son's body after she hit James Hutchison, trying to abandon him and her two other kids in this Preble County Park. Investigators say she took the boy home and she and Hamilton kept him in the house until they drove to the Ohio River near Lawrenceburg and tossed him in a brick tied to his foot. His body's never been found. He's told me multiple times that, you know, he did help her do that. Hamilton's also charged with endangerment for allegedly hog tying Gosney's two other kids and stuffing cloth in their mouths. Those claims his sister Virginia Abney and wife Priscilla say they don't believe. He's not the monster everybody's making him out to be. He's really not. And they have expressed themselves about the monster named Hamilton, who did monstrous things to little Jimmy. And when he threw his body in the Ohio River, that is the act of a calculated monster. Hamilton's family in tears as he walks back into jail. Now we told you Brittany Gosney pleaded guilty last week. Hamilton now faces 15 to 19 years in prison. He'll find out just how long he'll serve when he's back here in court October 4th. We'll be here too. We're live in Hamilton tonight. I'm Evan Millward, WCPO 9 News.